Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter Emerson. I'm a studio director at Rios. We are an interdisciplinary design firm. Uh, we do everything from landscape architecture to architecture to interior design graphics and even product design. Um, so if we can uh, progress to the next slide, I'll get started. Uh, so last week, the LA Times did a pretty awesome job covering a recent collaboration with scientists, uh, stakeholders, and regulators to restore a living shoreline at Point Doom Beach in Malibu. If you didn't know, California beaches were once a mix of patchy, sandy, and vegetated dunes, and all of these were teeming with life and shifting around in dynamic ways. These were easily cultivated beaches, though, and Californians embraced doing so, resulting in, yes, the beautiful, but also lifeless beaches that we know and love today. The really interesting thing about this project, though, is that the driver isn't ecological restoration. The driver is an immediate need to protect our infrastructure along the coast. Instead of engineering and building extensive and expensive uh, concrete solutions, we were tasked with restoring and employing this forgotten ecology to build and bolster our beaches, first off here at Point Doom. Without a single piece of machinery, an ecological restoration methodology is being utilized to establish and encourage dunes to grow on their own. And for reference, this beach once grew 40 foot tall dunes. So this is how it works. We plant a handful of ecological engineers or really effective plants that pioneer dune restoration. They first grow on open beaches then trap the sand in their masses and continue to grow with the dunes year after year. In fact, we know from detailed historic surveys, the extents of these ecological systems and the historic uh, topography of this entire coastline. It's really as simple as that. We're starting by restoring this ecosystem along half a mile of beach for the cost of a couple nice cars. And we're gonna let it grow at a rate of about one vertical feet per year. And it's gonna thrive, creating essential habitat for threatened species like the snowy plover who went missing from LA for 70 years and then showed up in the first living shoreline demonstration project in Santa Monica. <clears throat> so where do we go from here? We're taking these same principles and heading to a community that built right on top of some of our region's most impressive uh, dune formations, Manhattan Beach. The, uh, the immediate emphasis here is a little different. It's to stitch back in these ecosystems and the biodiversity that goes along with them. And we're going to be doing this through 13 blocks that um, border the ocean um, straight through the center of this community. And in the process, we're gonna create conditions that will naturally shape and protect the places we live and play. And we expect this habitat to once again thrive, become part of the fabric of this community and lead communities, other communities to consider employing ecosystems and natural processes to build their coastal resilience. Thank you.